Hello, everyone, and welcome. I'd like to thank you for joining us today to learn a little bit more about Convey's new web-based 1099 solution that offers an all-in-one approach to your tax information reporting process, hopefully helping to ease and possibly even eliminate the stress that goes along with each tax season. I am Lauren Skinner-Johnson, and I will be moderating today's webinar. Before we get started, I do want to cover just a couple of quick housekeeping items. First of all, everyone will be on mute for the duration of the event so that we can facilitate efficiency and respect everyone's time. So if you do have a question at any time throughout the presentation, please type it in either the Q&A or the chat box in the panel on the right-hand side of your screen. And then we will try to get to as many questions as we can at the end of the webinar. Also, I am excited to announce that Convey has picked a date and a place for the 2012 C2 Summit. Convey hosts an annual tax and regulatory conference, um, and this year it's actually going to be at the Omni Dallas Hotel in Dallas, Texas, starting Sunday, September 23rd and going through Wednesday, September 25th. Our C2 Summit is a live tax information reporting seminar that includes about two and a half days of regulatory compliance as well as convey solution sessions. And now I'd like to introduce Ray Grove, who's a product manager for Convey. Ray's going to show you just how a web-based 1099 solution can help to streamline your tax information reporting process into just three simple steps. But before I do hand it over to Ray, we'd like to get a better understanding of what tax season means for your office through a couple of polling questions. So the first poll is, what is the stress level at your office currently? A, business as usual. B, calm before the storm. C, I'm the only one fighting the good fight. D, my team is banded together. Or E, tax season makes me eat worse. I'll give you just a minute to fill out the poll that's open on your screen. Great, thank you. And we have one additional question. This question is, how many people help out during tax season? A, it's all hands on deck. B, we're fine, we don't need any help. C, we get a little bit of help. D, what help? And E, I just ordered pizza for the print party. Again, I'll just give you a quick minute to answer that question and then I will hand it over to Ray shortly. Great, thank you everyone for your participation in the polls. And with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Ray. Thank you, Lauren. And thank you everyone for joining us today. Um, hopefully we can uh, all learn something from each other on today's call. So the agenda for today is to first cover really the changing landscape of 1099s. Um, and you know we're gonna go through a few items there. And I'm sure many of you that are on the call, obviously being very familiar with the 1099 process are uh, most likely familiar that this is a landscape that's been changing greatly. Um, then I also want to kind of move into really why we're here today um, and talk about, you know, is there a better way to be doing things and what maybe you're doing them today? Uh, what are some of the things that most likely you're struggling with and how that can be helped? And a big part of that is really talking about what does web-based 1099 reporting mean and how does Taxport AP uh, fit into that? And then we'll move into a Q&A session. Uh, for you to ask whatever questions you uh, may have. 
So many of you on the call are probably familiar with this gentleman's face, or maybe you're not, but this gentleman is Doug Schulman, and he is the IRS commissioner. And he's been making a lot of noise lately um, as it relates to third-party information reporting. And this is actually a big piece of his future uh, transformational vision of how to change the IRS through kind of a forward-looking, proactive, uh, as he tries to frame it, friendlier system. Um, a lot of this is in, uh, you know, kind of the current climate of having a lot of changes in the uh, information reporting, really the regulatory environment. You know, currently, you know, the as the, gov the federal government is placing additional risk because whether it's the Congress, Treasury Department, or the IRS, they're all really focused on enforcing existing regulations and in a lot of cases introducing new ones to close the tax gap, which ultimately is increasing revenue. For those of you that aren't familiar with what the tax gap is, uh, it's about $340 billion annually of uncollected um, IRS revenues that are uh, actually due. Uh, Doug Schulman and the IRS feel that uh, about 70% of those dollars in funds could actually be collected through increased uh, third-party information reporting, which is a big reason why there's been a lot of increased focus. Um, where you see a lot of the flexibility that used to be there for penalty abatement um, and rules has been getting a lot more strict um, and a lot more rules have been coming. In fact, in the past two years, we've seen more changes in this landscape than we've seen in the past 20. The difficult thing for everybody on the phone and really for all businesses is this uh, regulatory environment change is happening at a time where we're seeing business dynamics as a whole changing. Um, you know, the economy is, you know, really tough on everyone um, and just overall managing FTE and processing costs. In a lot of cases, uh, people are moving from maybe single business lines to multiple business lines. The system complexity of today's business needs is getting uh, a lot more complicated, which is, at the end of the day, creating uh, disparate data and processes across organizations making that job of year-end reporting that much more difficult. So why are we here? Well, ultimately, we're looking for a better way to do uh, 1099s. You know, the reporting requirements are getting more onerous for all individuals on the phone and all individuals in the industry. And for most people, uh, current solutions and processes leave a lot to be desired. Uh, you know, we'll cover what some of those things are, but you know, first and foremost, ensuring that you have the most up-to-date, accurate information uh, that you're using. If you're using a software processing solution, how do you know that it has the most up-to-date records? Uh, you know, are you able to verify name 10 information to reduce fee notices? How do you do W9 solicitations? How are you going to handle the increased workload and the deadlines? Um, how do you handle things like corrections? All of these are problems that you probably are thinking right now, yeah, those are kind of gaps that I have with my current day solution. So what we're going to talk about is what's different in a web-based solution and with the solution that uh, we offer. And let's face it, the current desktop products um, that many of you are probably using, if you are using one, it's a little complicated, uh, especially for an application that you're using once a year. Uh, it's kind of like a space shuttle syndrome uh, where there's a lot of buttons and levers to be pulled, um, but you're not necessarily pulling them. You're trying to spend most of your time familiarizing which, one, which ones you're supposed to pull. Well, what we've done is we've broken it down into a three easy steps. Um, and we've also closed the gaps of other non-full service solutions um, offering a full service web-based solution. So, uh, question we get a lot of times is, what is web-based delivery? Well, uh, you know, it's got a lot of names. A lot of people are familiar with uh, software as a service, also known as SaaS, or even cloud computing. Um, and really, they're all referring to the same thing. And what that is, it's a way of delivering technology. Um, you know, it started out as ASP, then it became SaaS, now a lot of people are talking about. It's really been around since the 90s. And We've seen a very large adoption of this technology, both from the technology providers that are leading edge, as well as organizations that are looking at ways to reduce costs and the other benefits that come with SaaS, which we'll go into. From the standpoint of how you do benefit, you know, uh, 
SaaS or web-based delivery has a lot of benefits. Um, however, uh, the technological abilities that it um, impacts your business the most are really these that we have up here. Uh, starting with, you're not locked into a vendor. You know, with software as a service, it's a, it's a sub subscription-based model uh, that really uh, makes us earn your business every year. Uh, in short, what that means, if we're not meeting your needs, you don't renew. Uh, this drives us to provide better customer service and better technology to you every time. Availability. You know, at the end of the day, you can access this with any computer or device anytime, anywhere. Uh, Convey is an industry leader from an uptime availability, ensuring availability 99.9% .9 of the time. Cost. Well, because you don't have to um, install any CDs, you don't have to uh, create any infrastructure, you don't have to have any IT involvement, your cost is also reduced with the solution. Um, and upgrades are also painless. You know, you don't have to perform any patches, you don't have to get IT involved, you don't have to download anything, you don't have to install anything. Every single time you sign in to a web-based SaaS solution, it's up to date, it's compliant each and every time. It's also more scalable. Um, you know, it can handle the workload uh, as that increases. A lot of you are very familiar with the corporate information repeal. You know, the writing on the wall uh, for most people familiar with the industry is that's going to come back one way or another, which, as you can imagine, will significantly increase the workload you have. And this is really why uh, we chose this method. It's a perfect fit for 10-9 recording. One, we're reducing risk for our clients because we're ensuring um, we're ensuring that the solution is compliant every single time that they log in. Because change ultimately it happens fast, and new reporting requirements are coming out each and every day. Uh, the IRS isn't exactly uh, quick at providing when those changes happen, uh, but we need to be nimble and need to be able to uh, adjust to that quickly. And information needs to be shared across organizations in a lot of cases. Uh, you, know, you may receive customer service calls um, and that information from a standpoint of making corrections or changes or giving that individual the information they need needs to be at their fingertips. So what is Taxport AP? It's really a better path to compliance. It's a full service information reporting solution that we've broken down into three steps. And we'll get into more what we mean when we say full service information reporting. Um, but literally, it takes over your process for you, allowing you, guiding you through it each step of the way. We're doing all of that work that requires multiple processes, a lot of human error, um, and it takes care of that in the background, ensuring that your outcome is guaranteed compliant. So this right here is Taxport AP. This is the home screen of our solution. And one thing that you'll notice is down at the bottom, that three-step process is broken out. Add my data, fix my data, send my data. That's the three steps that you as a user go through with Taxport AP to process your 1099s. You'll also notice that we actually provide progress alerts and next steps within the solution. So more than just uh, being a three-step process, this is a uh, system that actually guides you through each step, providing you direction to what is happening, what needs to happen next, and things you should be looking out for. Within that, you have your first step, which is adding your data. Data is accepted either in a 1220 or in a Excel spreadsheet format. You then move into the second step, which is fixing your data. And finally, you end with the third step, which is printing and sending your data. So let's define full service a little bit more in those three steps. So when we talk about add your data, well, number one, it's a very intuitive input. When you import your Excel spreadsheet, you can actually drag and drop the column headers as the fields into the tax form. The system provides you a visual representation of the tax form that you're importing for importing your form data and your payee information. Moreover, when you import data, it automatically checks for errors. 
one of the things that it does to do that as part of the service is it does a bulk TIN check against the IRS. It doesn't file anything with the IRS at that time, but what it's doing is it's providing the name and TINs of the payees that you provided the system to the IRS, and then the system, within a 24-hour period of time, provides you a output of whether or not you had any errors that you need to correct. It also does validations. So if you have a wrong zip code, you're missing an address, or something along those lines, the system notifies you to change that. Then it's to the next step, which is fix your data. So as you know, in step one, the system is automatically running a check to identify errors. In the second step, those errors are identified, and, when you, and it instructs you on what to do to correct those errors. When you make a correction within this step, it automatically validates the info. Moreover, it does a real-time TIN check against the IRS record, because as all of you know, the best and really only way to ensure that you're compliant and that you don't get those B notices is to actually get quality TIN information. So the system in real time checks that for you. It also gives you the ability to process B notices and W-9 solicitations. So if you have a large number of payees that do have inaccurate name TIN information, the application can, on your behalf, print, mail, and send the solicitations for W-9s. It can also, when you receive B notices, process those B notices and do the print and mail of the B notice solicitation for you. Now that you've fixed your data, you move on to the third and final step, which is printing and sending your data. Automatically, the system filters for forms that are required based on federal limits. This is both for printing and transmitting. You can approve all or just a subset of forms. As many of you may also be aware, the IRS has a uh, pilot TIN masking program that they extended this year. It also gives you the opportunity to apply TIN masking so you are protecting your payee's private information. Most importantly, when you print and when you send, your forms and transmissions are guaranteed compliant by Convey. And above all, support from Convey whenever you need it is always available. Our customer service, based out of our corporate headquarters in Minneapolis, Minnesota, is available to you whenever you need it. Other features that are offered within the application. Google likes searching to find and fix records. This is important if you receive calls from a payee that their form or information is incorrect. Uh, with the Google Life Search feature, you can actually handle those corrections. Real-time TIN, anytime, anywhere, no limit, you can check new pays, current pays, TIN information in real time. So when you have new vendors and payees that you're signing up, you can go into the application at any time of the year and check their name TIN in real time to be sure the information you're putting into your system is correct. Overall, reducing the burden at your end. Solicitations, we also do those as we spoke earlier for W-9s and B notices. And once again, let's not forget, this is a SaaS solution, not requiring IT, not requiring installs, not requiring updates, and guaranteeing compliance. So let's recap that. So we're really, what we're doing here is streamlining the finance workloads into three steps. The print, mail, and transmit are all included as part of this service. And ultimately, by removing those steps of manual intervention and taking what in a lot of cases could be a 30-step process, you're reducing your exposure and IRS penalties for noncompliance. You're eliminating a lot of cost with the bulk and real-time TIN. And remember, uh, forms are guaranteed compliant and scalable to your future needs. One thing I want to bring up real quick before we go into Q&A, because I'm sure there's looks like we have a lot of people on the line and we have a lot of questions, so we'll get to as many as possible. Um, 
for a lot of you, you're probably looking for a good resource as far as what's changing in the uh, tax and regulatory environment. Convey is uh, by far the eminent thought leader in the 1099 world. It is literally all that we do um, is 1099 and information reporting. So I have these resources up here for you. Uh, first and foremost, 1099 News is our blog where we post uh, regulatory and informational updates. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter, um, and we're also available on LinkedIn. And LinkedIn has uh, got a lot of uh, users, uh, like some of you, um, and uh, prospects that, you know, it's a good information source for you guys to, as a community, talk to each other about some of the problems that you're having and challenges that you're facing um, and help each other out. Um, I also put here some contact information and questions. So uh, one thing I want to say that uh, for all of you, uh, we do offer a uh, very um, easy process as far as walking through with you and your particular needs and doing a discovery and identifying you know, how best the solution fits you um, and can easily set up also a demonstration of the application live for you to address your individual needs. Uh, I also want to express that, you know, we're entering into the tax season um, and it's far from too late. Uh, we onboard our clients and get them using the application within a couple of days, so you have more than enough time this year to make the change for a better tax information reporting solution. So that being said, um, we'll go through a couple of questions here. Right, Lauren? Yep. Thanks, Ray. We have had a couple of questions come in, and of course, sometimes one of the most frequently asked questions is, um, did you record this and can I get the slides? And the answer to both of those questions is yes. We have recorded today's event and you will have access to these slides. Um, if you want to share them with your team members or anything like that, you'll give, be getting an email from me um, with access to both, probably in the next couple of days. Um, if not the end of this week, early next week. So with that, I'm going to jump into the first question. And the first question is, um, so will my 1099 data be stored on the internet? And if so, how secure or protected will my information be? That's a very good question. Um, so I'll answer that in two parts first. Um, just so you understand, Convey uh, takes security first and foremost as its number one priority. Uh, to give you an idea of how important that is to us, we actually, uh, our clients happen to be uh, 19 of the top 20 banks uh, in the world as well as half the Fortune 500, so security has always been paramount. So uh, the data is stored in our data centers, which you access through the internet, which is uh, they are all SAS 70 Type 2 audited. Uh, we are ISO 2001 certified. So uh, we oftentimes provide our security credentials to organizations um, or IT departments as part of the uh, standard purchasing process. Uh, but uh, I can assure you and guarantee you that your data is uh, pr probably, in a lot of cases, more secure uh, using our solution than sitting locally on your machines. Another question that we've gotten a lot so far today is what does a solution like this cost? Yeah, so um, the solution is actually very, very affordable. Uh, instead of going into all the different pricing tiers, uh, we can have somebody reach out to you um, and walk you through what that would look like for your organization. But because it is a SaaS model, it's not an all or nothing approach. We're actually able to price the solution depending on our clients' needs and the volume that they need to uh, process for 1099s. Okay, next question. Um, someone's asking or saying that they have the software already on their computer and so they can access 1099 information for any particular year at a given time and get a variety of reports. Um, this person's wondering if they'll be able to still access their information for all tax years at any time and will they be able to still print reports for the appropriate tax year? Yep. So within the application, uh, all of your information is stored with uh, current year uh, plus three years back. Currently, we're going back to 2009, but moving forward, it will be three years back. With that information, 
uh, you will be able to export the results of your 1099 processing um, into Excel so you can uh, run whatever reports you need. Okay, next question. Um, does the import file have to be in Excel? The import file needs to be either in Excel or the IRS 1220 format. Okay. So if you have a CSV file, for instance, you bring that CSV file into Excel and then import that into the system. Otherwise, um, almost all modern day ERP systems export in the IRS 1220 format. Great. Next question. Um, does Convey know all of the rules and regulations that would apply to my company, and would my company need to provide you with the details? You know, as part of the discovery process, we would walk through your organization um, and uh, your reporting requirements. Uh, from a standpoint of 1099 reporting and rules and regulations, uh, we are solely focused on that as a business, and yes, we absolutely uh, have a solution that meets the needs for any organization that has uh, reporting requirements. Great. Thanks, Ray. It looks like we do have a couple of additional questions that might be better addressed to reach out to you individually. Um, so we do have on record the questions that you've submitted, and we will definitely be reaching out to you and answering that question for you. Um, and with that, that ends today's webinar. Um, like I said, you'll be getting an email from me probably early next week with access to the recorded version of this webinar as well as a PDF of the slides. And as always, if you're interested in more information on Convey and how we can help streamline your tax information reporting process, you can visit us at convey.com or give us a call at 1-888-303-1099. And with that, again, I'd like to say thank you and thanks to Ray for joining us and have a great rest of your afternoon.